All right, we're looking at the stability ball. Bob, you know what I always say. It's the what beauty of the ball. Right. The beauty of the ball. Now, the stability balls are one of the best and the cheapest tools for a complete body workout, in my opinion. Oh, 25 bucks? 30? Somewhere in there, yep. Right. Plus, the, only the stability ball provides a unique core strength and balance benefits that you'll get from no other device. Take it from somebody who has spondy. Yeah, that's yeah. My, my back problems. I tell you, I've, that's you. This, I've, I've used this with uh, patients for a number of years and myself personally. It's a wonderful device. We'll get with it. 10 exercises, 10.3 seconds. 9.3. 9.3. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, now make sure you get the right ball for yourself. All right. uh, it's important you get the right size. Uh, I think the best way to do it is if you search online exercise ball diameter sizing chart. You'll get a, a few charts, and it'll say your height, and then it'll give you the diameter of the ball. Yeah, I got long legs, so I need a big ball. Yeah. I, I use a 65 centimeter. I think Bob probably uses a 75. Right. Uh, and you can change your diameter slightly. There's forgiveness in this. It's not exact right. size. Uh, one thing for sure is when you sit on the ball, you should have approximately 90 degree bend right. in the knee and the hip. You know, if you're way down like this or you're up like this and your knees are here. Yeah, not not yeah. workable. And it's forgiving. It's like, again, there is quite a bit right. of forgiveness. Make sure you have it pumped up to a level that you feel comfortable. You should not be sinking way into it. This one's a little bit low. I would put maybe a little more air on it. But it's, it's okay. It's going to work fine for this video. All right. Ten exercises. We're starting in a second. All right, the goal is 10 repetitions per exercise. Uh, you can do more if you want. If you haven't done them before, you'll probably get sore muscles tomorrow. That's okay. Join along. Uh, you can do them with me. Lie on your back. Put the ball as shown here. If you have shoes on, it actually works a little easier. Right. Or if you have shorts on. They grip. Yeah, the shoes will grip into the right. ball because we're going to pick the ball up with our legs. Or if you put your skin on the ball, that kind of helps grab sure. it like this. So you're simply going to do, I call, needed chest or abdominal curls. And the back is protected. Yeah, right here. These, right. That's one of the big benefits of doing right. this if you have back problems. Exactly. Okay. Do 10 of those. And then hands like this. You're not going to pull your head forward. You're just going to keep it there. Bring this up. Right elbow to left knee. Left elbow to right knee. Get those oblique and transverse abdominal muscles this way. Yes, Again, yes. back protected. Yep. It's a really good way to protect the back while well, strengthening the abdominal muscles. Okay, the next one, number two, you're going to lie like this with your heels on the ball. Going to lift up. And this is great for the glutes and the core, but we really want to focus on the hamstrings as we do these, I call them hamstring curls. Could you start with not lifting up, Brad? Yes, good point, Bob. You know, if your hamstrings are weak or they're injured, right. you can just push into the ball and roll it towards you right. as you squeeze That might be it. enough for you. Yep, exactly. Good point. I'm glad you brought that up. And then as you get stronger, do this. You know, a year down the road, you may want to go with one leg. And that right. really... Right, that really challenges. Yeah, be careful with that. Don't jump into it right away. All right, do 10 of those. Coming up next is number three. <laughs> okay, number three, we are going to go on the ball like this, prone position, and we're going to work the core, but the back side, the, the right. back core muscles. Point with your right hand, extend up with your left, and you can see the balance I'm challenged right. with, and the core exercise. Bob, what does it do for your back? It strengthens. Right. And because of the balls here, it's protecting it protects your it. back. Yep. Right. It's a nice way to do core if you have some back problems or you're recovering from a back injury to start with. Ooh. So where's the pheasant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get this. Uh, good boy, good boy. Yeah. All right, very good. We're going on to number four. 
All right, number four, you're gonna stay in this position to make it efficient, and we're simply spread your legs out wide, toes on the floor so you have a good base. You can put your hands here, and we're just gonna do simply back extensions. And I do 10 of these. It's a good way to get all the muscles in the back and the yeah, low hips. Even though you have spondy, you can do this, right, man? As long as you yeah. go on a pain-free right. range of motion. Right, no pain. You want to maintain as much extension as you can if you have spondylosis. Right, absolutely. Or stenosis. But just Spinal be, stenosis. Yeah, just be right. gentle. Don't push it up. No really. pain. Absolutely and none. If you got a healthy back, if you want to put your hands here and do it, it's a little harder. For me, I don't worry about it. I just assist here as needed. Sure. All right, number five coming up. And next, we're gonna go down to the glute max at hip extension. Simply roll forward a little bit, hands out wide here for stability, and lift up one leg and do 10 on each leg. You can also uh, with the knee bent. Yep, so I go like this, and that isolates, takes the hamstring out of it, and actually works more of the glute max. Right, the all important glute max. Yep. So, you know, do what you want. If you want to have it bent or straight, um, what works best or both. for you. Yeah, well, that's a good idea as well. All right, come on, number six then. Okay, this is a total body workout as, right. a, as a tidy top. So we're working chest. core, legs, and now the arms and the chest. chest. And so you simply stay where you are, except for roll forward. Uh, let me go over here so we get it all on camera. And you're gonna roll forward. And the beauty of the ball is you can change the intensity. If you're not very good at push-ups, you may do it here. And this is easy to do push-ups. If it's too easy, simply walk out a little bit and do your push-ups here. More you, challenge. Yeah, you can go all the way out to your toes and it'll get real aggressive. And there's also this instability that makes this a superior push-up versus if you do the standard GI push-up without the ball. I really like push-ups using the ball. All right, next. All right, the next one is another core, upper body, and you get some lat work in here, which is sometimes hard to get. Really hard. Now, I, I kneel on this because this is carpet's a little hard. Right. It's hard on my knees, it's up to you. Hands like this, and you're gonna roll out. You may walk out and stretch. Abdominal core is working good, and come up to this here. This is like Ooh. the roller wheel. Yeah, it right. is. It's but like a, easier, right? Yep, it is. But the thing about this is it has a tendency to go back and forth, especially if you do it with your hands together. It makes so it, it challenges you. Yep, so you're getting some core and many directions with some balance. So it's a great way to work the arms, core, and balance. Do 10 of those. All right, this is a real classic exercise for therapists when you want to work the hips and the core. Uh, you sit on the ball, good posture. If you're starting out, I would suggest having something on both sides to stabilize yourself because this ball is wobbly. Everything's working to keep you oh, upright. This is uh, hard to do. Yep, it is. If you haven't worked on the ball, be patient with it and have something to stabilize yourself because you're going to roll down to here, all the way up. Whatever you're comfortable with, you can do them here. And we're just doing bridging or glute sets. And it's easy to roll off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you don't do this, it really energizes a lot of musculars, musculature to keep you balanced. Um, because be I've been safe. doing this for years, it's, it's, right. I'm quite comfortable with it. It will not be this easy if you're just starting, unless you're a natural. Uh, but this is much harder if you want to do one leg. Oh, that's too oh. hard for me. And work that 10 repetitions. All done, bad. Yep. So we got, we got more, Bob. I know. A couple more. Okay, number nine is very similar to the one we just did. However... We're going to go out to here, and instead of doing the bridging or the glute sets, we're just going to hold like this and simply straighten one leg. And you can tell by the tone of my voice, it's challenging here. And if you want to go from two hands, one hand, and if you go like this, it really gets wobbly. Sure. Uh, but that's all up to you. Do not expect yeah, to Yeah, you're it. shaking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So do five on each leg, build up to ten on each leg. 
All right, Bob. Lastly, but not leastly, we're going to dribble the ball. <laughs> All right. No, I'm just kidding. Put the ball on the on wall. On the wall. All right. The ball on the wall, quad strengthening. That's what I, I've, I've had many people do this in the therapy. Yep, me uh, too. In the gym. So put it here. Make sure you have shoes on or something so your feet do not slip. Carpet works good with these socks. Oftentimes, if you got a tile floor or something like that, have your uh, rubber shoes, you know, tennis shoes, sure. running shoes, whatever it may be, so it's sticky. Feet at least one shoulder width apart, and you put them out in front of you a little bit. Good posture. This is the biggest mistake people do. They they stay slouched. So it's right. back like this posture, and simply go down. You may want. I ha oftentimes have people start with a cane or a piece of furniture to hold on to for your balance and go down. The big thing, Bob, don't go down too far the first time so you, you cannot get up. <laughs> back up. This, big problem. This really works the quadriceps in particular. Yeah. So it's down, and, you know, you go down as far as you feel comfortable. If your knees are becoming painful when you do this, don't, don't go as far. Don't go that far exactly right. right. And so do 10 of these, I guarantee you, you will get quadriceps. Get a burn. Yeah, you'll get those muscles working well. So that's number 10, Bob. All right. Once again, the beauty of the ball is going to work your body top to bottom. The beauty get your of Brad back. and the ball. Beauty of, yeah, <laughs> I don't Brad know about and that. Joe, don't mix my name with beauty. <laughs> my God, it's, it wouldn't be in the dictionary. That's <laughs> All right, well, very good. Have a good time and, and be careful.